So today, as we try to get back into a regular uh, mode of production, um, today we're going to continue to work on clearing out some of the old steel in preparation for the new steel, which is I'm eagerly awaiting to get actually combined with the existing portions of the car. To that end, we have been using as our most successful tool our angle grinder with our cutoff wheel. Cutoff wheel, angle grinder. The only challenge with this is, is that this wheel essentially uh, deteriorates and disintegrates as you use it, which essentially turns this partially used wheel into this once you're finished. And then you gotta swap it out and swap it out and swap it out. So what we're gonna try today uh, as an alternative, um, allegedly advertised and marketed as a better alternative to those disposable or disintegratable cutoff wheels is something like this, which is uh, purported to be a diamond cutoff wheel, metal cutting disc, uh, which is purported to last 100 times longer or 5,000 cuts. Well, today we're gonna put it to the test and see what we can see. Let's get started.
Well, I have to say that I'm really impressed. Uh, the shape of the wheel is still essentially generally the same di diameter that it was when it started. And you can see I did almost 45 minutes of cutting without changing out a wheel. That just means much less downtime for having to change out that wheel and more time actually cutting stuff away. Um, that's a pretty, pretty big improvement over what I was using before. Let me grab you over here. Man, it's hot in here. Okay, put you over there. Let's get you out of there oh, so you can see. Not a way to switch it around. But you can see that we got all that out underneath there. Cleaned up that edge here. Cleaned up that edge here. Cleaned up all of that. And cleaned all the way down here and got rid of that inner rocker all the way down. It was already rotted out on the bottom. So I didn't really cut anything there, it just kind of fell off. And then all the way through here. So, depending on how much I can scrape off of here, if any, I may not even do it at all, because putting the floor in here just means I just need to get it up over top of the side of the floor. The hard part is what's in here. The transition from the back seat to the trunk, all that's left 
is a, about an eight to 10 inch strip right in there that has to be cut away, but retain this panel, retain that panel, and retain that panel. That's gonna be the hardest one to try to save. And the reason we're doing it this way is if we can pull that section out without disturbing any of this other structure, we can pull the entire floor assembly underneath, bring this down on the floor assembly, everything should locate where it's supposed to be on the new floor assembly, given the locations that this is informed where this gets welded to that. Once that's down and locked into place, we can then cut away this whole side of the car and replace it with our, back in that pile over there, replace it with a full side panel. So, that's a good 45 minutes. A good 45 minutes. Oh, can't do that. Let's try this. Boop. See if that helps. Maybe I'm upside down right now. I don't know. I can't tell if I'm upside down or not. I'm out of control. So that was another good segment of cutting, grinding, removing, disassembling, deconstructing. Um, I can only go about 45 minutes to an hour anymore. Um, before I get super tired. So this will be the end of this segment. And for you, the next segment will be five seconds away from here, but with, for me, it'll be a completely different day. Now it's time to clean up all that mess. Parts Unknown, Project 21 f appreciate you. Like and subscribe even though this isn't the end of the video. Like and subscribe, you out there, Charlie, Frank, Lisa, I see all you. Like and subscribe, doesn't cost anything and helps out the channel. On to the next adventure.